WorldCat is the world's largest network of library content and services. It is dedicated to providing access to library resources on the web. This information is straight from the homepage on worldcat.org. WorldCat can be accessed from the BYU Family History homepage, or you can access it directly by typing worldcat.org in any browser. WorldCat allows you to search many libraries at once for an item and then locate it in a library near you. You can find books, music, videos, digital items, research articles. You can post a review of an item if you wish or contribute factual information about it. You can search for any of the physical items you're used to getting from libraries. You can find articles, citations with links to their full text, authoritative research materials such as documents and photos of local and historic significance, and digital ver versions of rare items that aren't available to the general public. Because WorldCat libraries serve diverse communities in dozens of countries, resources are available in many languages. Once you find an article or book you want, you can order it through BYU Interlibrary Loan. This PowerPoint will help introduce you to some of the features of WorldCat. For example, I'm looking for marriages in Marshall County, West Virginia in the 1800s. And I want to know if anyone has a book or a record of the place and in the time frame I'm looking for. So I type in Marshall, West Virginia marriages in the search box and then select search everything. Among the 242 hits, I find these. I've got three different versions of Marshall County, West Virginia marriages, and an article down here about marriage bonds in Franklin County, which I know is close to Marshall County, so it's probably something I want to check out as well. Clicking on a title provides basic information, the author, the publisher, for example, but notice that there are several links that I'll want to check out before I order a book. Another route I'll want to investigate before I decide what I want to order is the author. I'll start by clicking on Wes Cochran. I don't immediately find anything specific to Marshall County, but I know that Wood and Randolph counties are close, and I might want to check them out as well, especially the marriage and death volumes. A quick check of the other authors, Martha Wirtz and Linda Camp, turns up other volumes that I'll want to check out as well. If I scroll down the page a bit, I find a detail screen that gives me even more information. I'll especially need the OCLC number if I decide to order the book, so I make note of it now. Before I place my order, I decide to check out what an advanced search will allow me to do, so I back up a screen and click at that option. There are many options that I can use to search for material on this screen. Under keyword, title, and author, I find almost exactly the same entries. I can enter an accession number, an author number, an ISBN number. I can add a title or a subject. Under audience, you can choose any audience, a juvenile audience, or a non-juvenile audience. Under contact, content, you can select fiction, nonfiction, biography, thesis, or dissertation. Under Format, you can select everything from an audio file to Braille. Under Language, you'll find a good variety of languages, but not all languages are listed. I'm also curious about the similar items and related subjects links and where they will lead me, so I try them. Each of these leads me to other published records that appear to provide information I'm interested in. I find birth records, court documents, military records for the Civil War, death records, and more. I'll want to check them out before I decide that this is the book I really want. Now that I've done my exploring, I return to my initial screen, click on the title, and scroll down to see which libraries have this holding. Notice that the Family History Library in Salt Lake City is one among them. Because this book is available at the Family History Library, other options are available to me, but let's play out the WorldCat scenario. I'll first want to make sure BYU doesn't already have a copy, and so I select the Get It at BYU option. 
Sure enough, this option indicates to me that BYU does not have this holding and allows me to make some other choices. My best option is to order through BYU Interlibrary Loan. Because I access WorldCat from BYU, I can access the Interlibrary Loan order form directly from WorldCat itself. Give WorldCat a try. Even random search terms, like your own name, are liable to turn up something interesting. For example, I typed my name in and found out that BYU has a copy of my master's thesis. Go figure.